Hello, and welcome to Smart Watch Series. The Fenix 8 Pro is the latest addition to the Fenix 8 series. It is not a successor to the Fenix 8. Rather, it is another variant of the Fenix 8 with LTE functionality. The new Fenix 8 Pro is available in two models, a Fenix 8 Pro with an AMOLED display, similar to the Fenix 8, and a Fenix 8 Pro with a brighter micro-LED display. While the Fenix 8 Pro with AMOLED display retails for $1,300, the micro-LED version has a hefty $2,000 price tag. So the big question, what is the difference? Why the hefty price tag? There is not much difference between the two Fenix 8 Pro models. The only difference is the display brightness and battery life. Beyond this, every other thing is the same. It's the same health tracking features the same 32 gigabytes of storage, the same fiber reinforced polymer frame with a titanium bezel, titanium back, and sapphire glass screen. Although in terms of available sizes, the Fenix 8 Pro with micro LED display is only available in a 51 millimeter size, while the Fenix 8 Pro AMOLED is available in 47 and 51 millimeter sizes. Also, the Fenix 8 Pro micro LED is thicker. It's a big 17.5 millimeters thick, that's one millimeter more than the AMOLED version. I can't really say the reason for this, but according to Desfit, he mentioned that the micro LED panel is entirely separate from the capacitive touchscreen. So while it is the same build, the micro LED version only comes in a 51 millimeter size and it is noticeably thicker. Now, talking about the display, that is the main difference between the two models. The AMOLED version has an AMOLED display, which Garmin has boosted up to 2000 nits, similar to the 2000 nits of the Forerunner 970 and Venue X1. So the Fenix 8 Pro is not just very colorful, it is also brighter and easier to read outdoors. However, the Fenix 8 Pro micro LED dwarfs the brightness of the AMOLED version with a whopping 4,500 nits, the brightest display on a watch so far. In fact, I have not seen the watch physically, but from just the videos I watched, the Fenix 8 Pro micro LED is significantly brighter than the AMOLED version. It's no fluke, the micro LED version is really bright and a lot easier to read outdoors. Moreover, according to Desfit and DC Rainmaker, the micro LED version is easier to read from an angle. So indoors, you won't notice any difference between the two displays, but outdoors, the micro LED version is far easier to read. Moving on in terms of battery life, the price to pay for the brighter display of the micro LED is that it has a shorter battery life. According to Garmin, with the micro LED model, you can get up to 10 days in typical usage and up to four days when always on is enabled. Now, 10 days is not bad, especially when you compare it with the three days of the Apple Watch Ultra 2, but the Fenix 8 Pro AMOLED model lets you go longer. It is up to 27 days in typical usage and up to 15 days when always on is enabled. That's a long two weeks more from a single charge. So if the AMOLED version has two weeks longer battery life, why does the micro LED version cost 700 more? Yes, I know the display is 125% brighter, but is this worth 700 more, even with a shorter battery life? I mean, why would anyone want to buy the micro LED version? Well, apart from being brighter and easier to read from an angle, there is no risk of screen burning with the micro LED model. Unlike AMOLED, which uses organic pixels that can degrade over time, leading to burn in or ghosting of static images, like a watch face or data field. This is a non issue with micro LED technology. The inorganic pixels in the micro LED display are more durable and long lasting, making it a more future proof option for a watch that is designed to be used for many years. So if you have the budget and want a brighter display that's easier to read from an angle and completely future proofed with no risk of burn in, then of course the Fenix 8 Pro micro LED is great. Otherwise, the Fenix 8 AMOLED is also a fantastic choice. Now, talking about the new LTE functionality, both models have LTE and inReach technology. The Fenix 8 Pro has LTE functionality that will require the Garmin Messenger app to set up. With LTE activated, you will be able to make and receive calls from the watch without your phone. But you can't just call anyone. You can only call another Fenix 8 Pro or a phone with Garmin Messenger installed. Also, for the first time, Garmin has brought its inReach technology to a watch, and the Fenix 8 Pro is the first to have it. The inReach technology is a two-way messaging system that will allow you to share your location and send and receive messages via satellite. 
So with LTE, you can make and receive calls via Garmin Messenger, and when there is no LTE coverage, the inReach technology will allow you to still share your location and send messages. In other words, the LTE and inReach features are safety-focused services. And for this service, you will have to pay Garmin $8 every month for the basic plan. It's $49 for the premium plan. So the micro LED and AMOLED versions of the Fenix 8 Pro are two very similar watches. However, the micro LED version has a 125% brighter and more durable display. On the other hand, the AMOLED version also has a decent display, plus a far longer battery life. So it's up to you to decide better display or a longer battery life while saving $700. That is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more updates. Also turn on the notification bell to never miss important updates. Until next time, goodbye.